Life can change in an instant. For many wheelchair users, the struggle to push forward is a daily challenge. After years of development and countless prototypes, we created Rib Grips, the revolutionary wheelchair hand rim covers with built-in ribs for ultimate grip and comfort. No more slick surfaces, no more heat burns, just pure, reliable grip. Rib Grips, empowering you to push forward with ease. Rib Grips, get a grip on your freedom. Discover the difference. Visit ribgrips.com and use promo code GRIP today. You just found the perfect product that helps with staying cool during hot summer runs. No more gross warm water. Stay cool with this product from Gear Handle. This hydration tube cover helps keep your water cool and easily accessible. Stay hydrated during those long summer runs or even delay from freezing in the winter. Plus, they're compatible with various brands of water bladders and come in various colors. Visit GearHandle.com and use promo code H2O today. Hey everyone, you're listening to The Public Affair with me, Andrew G. I see someone different every episode, but do me a favor, keep it between us. Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, Andrew G, and welcome to episode 20 of my podcast, The Public Affair. I cannot believe that we're on episode 20. That's so exciting, and I'm so grateful to everybody who has supported this project and everybody who continues to view and share and like and comment and critique Everything really means a lot to me. So thank you all so much. And of course, to my producer, Mike Hamilton with Rogue Media Network. Without him, I don't know what we'd be right now. (laughs) I definitely want to give a shout out to Juan Arjon with Arjon Painting. He's a local family owned paint company that specializes in residential homes, both interior and exterior. He offers the best quality guaranteed and a pretty sweet warranty. So if you guys need your home painted, make sure you call the best Arjon Painting. Thank you, Juan Arjon. I appreciate you, man. To my girl, Nancy Pulsini with Parkway National Insurance. She offers insurance for all commercial trucks and tractor trailers as well as all contractors and now home and auto insurance so for all your insurance inquiries make sure you hit up my girl nancy Pulsini with parkway national insurance i definitely want to give a shout out to my boy marcos cordero with midway nutrition he's located on hewitt drive and offers meal replacement shakes um all different kinds of flavors that are super duper bomb uh my favorite of course is the honey nut cherry and i had a pumpkin Spice roll, I believe is what it was called today. Super bomb. Uh, Tons of different flavors. So make sure you guys hit them up if you're looking for a little bit of a more healthier lifestyle and you want some protein shakes. And also shout out to Waco Nutrition and Energy, which is their sister company located on Spate. Of course, to my boy Frank Biza with B&J Refinishing. He focuses on resurfacing bathtubs, counters, sinks, tiles, and more to original showroom quality. Offers five-year warranty on most work, and he offers the best prices in town. Very affordable. Thanks, Frank. You're the best man. Of course, to my boy Luis Flores with Red Rhino Flooring. He specializes in all type of floor installation, including building custom shower tiles and cabinets, kitchen backsplashes, and more. He also does full home renovations, so make sure you call the number on the screen. Hit up my boy Luis Flores with Red Rhino Flooring, and of course, it's Tony Garcia with Crossroads Realty. He is a local real estate agent that services Waco and surrounding areas. He'll help you buy a home, sell your home. Just hit him up for all your real estate needs. Tony, thank you for sponsoring The Public Affair. More to come. Now, speaking of real estate, I'm really excited to announce my guest for episode 20. Um, I met this guy last year um, at an event that we had that we'll talk about later. And um, I'm really excited when he agreed to come onto the show. So I want everybody to give a warm welcome to my boy, David Santabanez. I said that right, right? Yes, that's right. Hello, everybody. Yes. I'm so happy that you came on the show. Thank you for agreeing. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. I didn't know when I think of you, I think of more like, you know... Like you're very poised. You know what I mean? I was like, I oh, don't know. He wants to fuck with the public affair, you know, because I messaged somebody after you and they left me on red. But anyway, oh, no. <laughs> you know, I think they, I think, you know, the public affair is not really there for t- <laughs> But hey, thanks for coming on. I appreciate it. No, thank you. I've, I've had different realtors on here. I've had Roman, the realtor. I've yeah. had the CCG team, Cameron, and Claudia Gomez. And um, I know you're my third realtor to have on. And I see like all the hard work that you put into the community and stuff with selling a home. You really made a name for yourself. Thank you're involved you. in a lot of things. So I was like, I don't invite David Santabanez, you know? <laughs> And plus, we got a mutual friend. Shout out to Sid Rodriguez at um, Elite Barbershop in Hewitt. So, yeah. What's up, Sid? (laughs) Yeah. So, how do you feel about being on the show? Uh, It's it's great. Yeah? Yeah. (laughs) I love your content. I've been watching the episodes. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. You know, I try. I mean, not everybody. (laughs) I I just got told um, right before I started this that somebody actually wants to kick my ass. Oh, no. (laughs) Hasn't been to my house yet, so I don't know. (laughs) um, Okay. So, David, um, of course, being from South Waco, is so South Waco of you. When I asked him what he wants, his amenity to be, he's like, oh, I see everybody just kind of gets alcohol. Oh, I'll just take some Bud Light. Or, you named several different types of beer. I think you said Bud Light was one of them, right? Bud Light, Michelob. Bud, yeah. Michelob okay, Bud Light, Michelob. You like Dos Equis? Yeah, I drink Dos Equis. I, yeah, yeah, I mean, I drink. Open. Yes. Well, ever since I started working at Seke Soccer Academy, darling, I've cut back on the drinking because, you know, I'm trying to. 
you know, I'm down 25 pounds. But anyway. Yeah, good, good for <laughs> but, you. <laughs> but you did, but you did also bring a very chilled bottle of Silver Patron. I did. Yeah. Now mm-hmm. my trainer's probably going to kill me when he sees me taking a shot of this. But can we take a shot just yeah, for the let's show? Yeah, take one. I yeah. um, I David asked me to take a shot before the show, but we said no, we don't drink before the show anymore because on previous episodes I sweat like a pig. So I don't want <laughs> here. I want you to do the honors and pour okay. me a shot, but not awesome. like a triple shot, okay? Just no, like sure. like a virgin shot, okay? Be good to me. <laughs> there we go. What's that look like? Um, it looks good to me. Why don't you <laughs> go ahead and pour yourself one too? And why don't we cheers to you coming onto the public okay. affair? Awesome. Thank you for coming, David. Thank you for having yes, me. Yes, of course. Oh God, it takes me back to my bar days. Oh. It tastes like the bar. <laughs> you know what I mean? Remember when you go to the bar and you wake up the next day and that's how it tastes? Yep. Not like anybody in particular, just the bar. <laughs> so, David, for um, for a lot of people who don't, who might not know who you are, which it seems to me like. Whenever I have a guest here from Waco, um, a lot of people get really excited because I guess y'all grew up with each other. It's a small town. Yeah. But um, for everybody who might not know who you are, why don't you explain to our viewers who David Santabanez is? Like, tell us about your life growing up and stuff like that. Yeah, sure. So my parents are originally from Mexico, so I am a uh, first generation here. I oh. uh, was born in Tyler, Texas, but we moved to Waco about the age of four. So okay. for me, it's home. I grew up in uh, South Waco, like you mentioned. Yeah. Um, I've made a lot of connections, a lot of friends, and uh, yeah. yeah. Glad to. How long? So when were you? How old were you when you moved to South Waco? Uh, about four or five years. Oh, ago, so yeah. you were you were a kid, kid. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. I got you. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm familiar with Tyler. Too shout out to everybody at Tyler. Love everybody in awesome. Tyler. Yeah, I know yeah. a lot of people over there too. Some okay. of them aren't talking to me right now, but whatever. <laughs> so, which happens a lot when you start a podcast, right? So, <laughs> no, well, that's pretty cool. Um, so you're you said you're your first generation. Does that mean that you are the first to grow up in America? Or what? Explain to me what that is, because I'm Puerto Rican, so I don't. Really, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. So my parents, uh, like I mentioned, they came here from from Mexico, and yeah. It's, uh, me and my brother, my younger brother, were born here in, in, oh. in America. So, oh, okay. Um, for us, I, I feel like um, they definitely have set a stepping stone for us uh, because they, you know, came to live the American dream. And right. I'm blessed to be here. That's what's mm-hmm. up. Was that was the transition easy for them? I guess, like, I mean, that surely the prior the priority for them moving here was for you guys to have a better life and right. have more opportunity. Do you think? I mean, obviously that worked out the way they wanted. It did. I mean, okay. I really think that that it helped me learn um, all the hard work that they put into it. You yeah. Know? I mean, it's not easy to to change lifestyles you right. know, from a different country, but um, yeah. Yeah, I got you. Wait, I'm sorry. We have this disgusting fly in here who's ruining the shots. <laughs> I promise the studio is clean. It's just got on your face. I don't want anybody to think that we're dirty or anything. Um, I want to talk a little bit about how we actually met each other because I thought it was very funny. I'm going to just confess a lot to you right now. But um, and, and shout out to your wife, Felicia, who I met at the event last year. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's Felicia. Ooh, how do you say her last name? I know it's Santa Bañez, and but she has a different last name too. Riojas. Riojas. Okay, Riojas. Yeah. She looks mm-hmm. like feisty. Like She looks like she'll fight. Oh, is yeah. she from South Waco too? She is. You South Waco <laughs> people love to fight. Now the person who wants to kick my ass is not from South Waco, but I think he thinks he is. And uh, yeah. I don't know. Anyway. So, <laughs> so okay, so me and David Santabanez met. Uh, we talked about this on episode 10 of the public affair when I had uh, Sid Rodriguez and Marcus Guerrero from Elite Barbershop. Right. And last year they had a it was last year. It was, was yeah, last year. Last, last year. year. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, last year, because yes. And um I went out there with Power 108 yeah. um to Alinea. Yeah. Real estate, okay. Yes. You guys had the free haircut event. Correct. Now you were a part of putting that on, right? Like you yeah. offered the building and all that. So it was an idea from Cedro. Uh, okay. Cedro has uh, volunteered to uh, become a barber and do the free haircuts for yeah. other events. But uh, we we became really good friends since he became a barber. And I mean, I've known him since elementary school days. Oh, I've known wow. him for a long time. Oh, so you guys grew up together. Yeah. 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 That's what's happening. And it was a vision that he had. And he asked if I would like to be a partner. And uh-huh. um, I love being a part of the community and giving back. I mean, yeah. I feel like, uh, you know, I'm blessed in the position I'm in. And yeah, um, yeah we, we've um, just had an idea we thought it was a very small idea and it just kind of i grew yeah uh and it and, and blew our expectations so it did we there was a lot of people that showed up and i'm so happy that you guys are really into that because people like me are just not into that like i, I think <laughs> charity is very beautiful i do i just like will let you guys handle that i'm focused yeah. on putting out good content and being appropriate and funny you guys can give out free shit if you want to <laughs> well i give away no, excuse me i do giveaways too i had the free um i gave away like 200 dollars yeah. well that was for power one way i was getting paid for that and okay. so, <laughs> 
but no, like on the podcast, I've given away like a hundred dollars. Open that beer. Okay. Awesome. I've given away. I've given a hundred dollars away two times, and I gave away a free haircut to Elite Barbershop. You did. So yeah. So and more to come. But anyway, okay. So we met each other at that free haircut event. I was we out did. there with Power 108 to help do promotion and stuff like that. Is what we call a remote that I was getting paid for. And so <laughs> and so um, we met you. I met you there. That was the first time I believe. And there was a woman there who we talked about. The, the woman with the free. We're not going to name her name because. Uh, but <laughs> but she was over there like being really erratic and you know she was really harassing me as well like hey pulling my jacket like hey let my daughter pick a, a raffle ticket this and that and wow. I told Sid I don't know if you knew this or not but I told Sid on episode ten when she was harassing the shit out of me and you guys were kicking her out yeah not because she harassed me because of other I don't remember why you guys kicked her out but I can guess why a hundred things but um, <laughs> she uh, this is the fly she um. She came up to me and she goes, hey, that woman's being real ugly to me. I guess it was your boss, the yeah, blonde lady. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I don't know what, I don't work for them, but go talk to that guy and I pointed at you. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> I don't know if she said anything or tried to do anything to you, like whatever, but I'm sorry I did that to you. So no, no, you're like, fine, <laughs> you're fine. She was just a little bit causing a scene. And yeah. I mean, for us, we were trying to have fun, get back to the community. Right. It was an uplifting uh, well, event, but yes. And it was a family event and there was right. um, little angels. Waco came with the, the bounce slides. houses and the water slides. Mm -hmm. And you guys had food that you guys provided. Correct. Or pizza, so, yeah. barbecue. Oh my God. Yo, I churro ate truck. So, yes. <laughs> Remember the church? I didn't get my ice cream, but, um, <laughs> I, cause I had to go. Um, but yeah, we had, there was so much food and she was just there getting all the free shit. And mm -hmm. I just remember you guys having to kick her out. And I saw, I mean, she was really like being really erratic with her kids. I was like, this is not like the kind of event. It was not the place for that. No, yeah. it's not. No, <laughs> now I'm all for you know smacking your kids in the face and shit if they're acting up. But right. Probably not at Alenia, you know, the the reality group or whatever. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that's how I first met David Sanzabanias, and ever since then we've you know kept you know I think in contact on social media. And yeah, stuff. we have. I mean, we haven't messaged each other. Like we haven't been to Georgia's, which we should do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but you know, especially anyway. So, why but don't you, you made it fun though. Thank you for being there. But I, I try. You know what I mean? She was really being erratic. We It was a good event, but it was very clustered. You know what I mean? Because yeah. the, the room was small. And yeah. of course, you know, a lot of people want to come give their kids haircuts. They're not free. And yeah. so um, <laughs> I did the best I could. And I was sweating like a dog. And they wanted me to be on the microphone. And then I had homegirl over here trying to sexually <laughs> harass me. I was like, can you please go do something with yourself that doesn't involve touching me? And so, you know what I mean? So uh, that was a fun event to be a part it of. Was. I, I'm sorry that you guys didn't get to do it this year. I know. We, we started uh, back in January, I think. We. We uh, already had a, a bigger haul because we've yes. had that issue last year. Yes. Uh, I mean, it's not, it, again, the, the the idea was smaller than what we expected. And so mm -hmm. we were going to be prepared this year. But unfortunately, COVID uh, right. came around and kind of put everything on Yo, hold. COVID so. ruined everything, but COVID did not ruin my birthday, <laughs> which was in July. <laughs> okay, I still had that party bus and we took our asses to that Brazilian restaurant. It was delicious. It was drunk. So <laughs> that was a hot mess express. Um, mm -hmm. you're, are you involved... Uh, I meant to ask this. Are you involved with the Chamber of Commerce? I am. Uh, is it the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, the Hewitt Chamber? What, what am I missing here? Uh, Hewitt Chamber, Waco Chamber. Um, All the chambers. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so what is your involvement in that? How'd you get involved in that? Um, well, for me, it's more of uh, networking and trying to, again, I'm, I'm always about giving back to the community. Okay. So I'm just trying to be plugged in with yeah. the city. So. You know, um, nobody's asked me to be a part of the chamber, and I've done a lot for our community too, like give yeah. them a really lit podcast. You know what I mean? <laughs> now, you know, uh, maybe that's not the direction they'd like to go in. <laughs> but, it's, you know, it's, I'm doing the best I can here, okay? <laughs> yeah. We'll get you the invite. <laughs> yeah, let me, I wanna, cause I wanna get invited to the luncheons and stuff. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I know one of the guys from the Hispanic chamber of commerce alfred Sol alfred solano solano, solano yeah, yeah i met him he's really nice he's an yeah. awesome guy yeah and his wife is super hot shout out to her like she, I, you probably can't say that but i can and she <laughs> but she is she's like really smoking hot like she's got a great body and i think i told him about that one time i was like yeah your wife's smoking hot so, yeah, <laughs> we're friends on facebook but anyway okay so um that's really cool to know man um are you are you proud to be a part of something like that like do you think being a part of things like that really i guess helps you make you feel validated in achieving goals, especially as like a first generation, you know, Mexican American, I guess. Well, for me, it's like, uh, Alfred actually said he had a really good, um, uh, speech the other day at a, at a ribbon cutting. And he said that for him, it's more of, um, uh, being minorities. He feels like there's not enough leadership in the community. Okay. Um, so I feel like if, if I can be plugged in and involved with the community and maybe be, um, um, you know, networking with other yeah. leaders in town that, you know, maybe I can, Rub off on some of their. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I got you. you get, yeah, so. man, I can't be rubbing off on people on the. <laughs> so, um, I definitely want to talk to you. You, you are a local realtor here yes, in sir. town, mm -hmm. and you know, I understand that everybody has a 
image to uphold. It's not like that. But you're on the public affair, and everybody knows that we're on the public affair. This is not professional. <laughs> and it is after, right now, as of the recording of this podcast, it is 6.25 p.m. Central Standard Time. And so, <laughs> um, no, I want to, um, why don't you talk to me a little bit about um, how you got started in that? Like, what was your inspiration behind that? So, funny story, I was not, uh, my intentions were not to become a realtor. Oh. Um, I have uh, someone really important in my life that started investing into real estate. Okay. Um, and it just uh, inspired me to um, think about my future, invest into my future. Yeah. And so they started buying properties, uh, cheap properties that needed work, and they fixed them up and got them rented out. And so uh, it just taught me a valuable lesson that yeah. we, you know, can't just live day by day, check right. by check. We have to, you know, built for that future. And yeah. so that's what got me interested into real estate to become an investor. And I just got the opportunity to become an agent and yeah, uh, it just took off from there. Just huh? took off from there. Yeah. Yo, I was everybody who follows you on social media knows that you're winning because <laughs> yeah, you, you sell a lot of great houses and stuff and I, I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed for sure. Yeah. But yeah, it's just, uh, it's, 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 it's an opportunity that was given to me and I just tried it out for the first year or two part time. Uh, okay. I actually, um, to, to rewind back, I actually was uh, in automotive before I got into real estate. Really? When you yeah. say automotive, you mean like selling cars or? As a mechanic. Oh, okay. I was working on cars, yeah. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Like, yeah, you know, I know a lot of people too that are like that where they, um, they like before realtoring, Roman the realtor, tell me the appropriate term. Um, who funny story about him? The Soko guys want us to hook up, and that's not gonna happen. But <laughs> we talked, and so um, no, like uh, so many people were doing different things. Like he said, he was going to college to be a nurse and shit like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So um, I think that's pretty interesting, and that you just woke up, and obviously it worked out for you, right? I mean, you would say that it's pretty successful. Oh, it, it turned my life around. Really? I mean, yeah. I I, I was uh, so originally I went to university high school. Okay. I'm a, I'm a shout out your high dog. school. Every, everybody, <laughs> all the guests coincidentally that I've had, I've been to university high school. Yeah. And everybody awesome. asked me why you got so many hot Mexican people on your show. Like, mind your business <laughs> keep it between us <laughs> yeah, <I'm good. laughs> but i was given the opportunity to sign up for the dual credit program through waco isd oh okay and uh Smarty being pants. young <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I tried to talk that off camera okay, go ahead. <laughs> but uh yeah i i didn't know what to do with life and i decided you know what i'm gonna buy my first car i don't know nothing about vehicles yeah so i got into the automotive program and uh, finished uh, high school with credits for five courses. Oh. And so I decided to finish the, the program after high school. Yeah. And uh, I did that for six years. Oh, automotive. Okay. Um, but yeah, I've, I've met a lot of older guys that um, were tired of the business. Right. Um, and they told me, hey, you're young. Run away from this while you can. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. <laughs> and, and thankfully, they were put in my life to, to, to you know, yeah. to encourage me. And so, yeah, I decided uh, to, to, to think about that backup plan. You know, what yeah. can be a, another better career and... I don't know. Real estate just I happened know. to be a choice and it's the best decision I made. Well, it, it works out for you. And you know what? Even getting into automotive, I think that's such a good trade. Oh, learn. it is. Because yeah, cars definitely. be breaking down all the fucking time. I wish my dad would have taught me how to change oil. Like, you know what I mean? Right. Like, right. Like, I don't know how to do that. I got to pay somebody $70 every six months. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. But did you, did you like hold on to a lot of that? Those tasks, like not tasks, like a lot of that um, skills? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I still have my tools. I still have the skills to do okay. it. Uh, and, and, and I figured when I got into real estate, that would be my backup plan if it didn't work. Yeah. Out. But thank God, I tell people I retired from automotive. Right. <laughs> I no longer turn wrenches. <laughs> but, but like if your car breaks down, isn't it great? Because you're like, it oh, shit, baby, I got this. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> yeah, I always wanted to, you know, kind of do something like that. That just didn't work out. Andrew G is not like, I don't like to get my hands. I will get my hands dirty. I'm just not into that. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, no, I, you know, I think it's great. Um, a lot of us. You know, like I honestly thought like power for me personally, I thought mm -hmm. power when I wait was like my end game, not in a bad way. Like I thought, oh, I'm on the radio now. This is great. And it's going to take off. Well, in five years, it didn't. Right. And so <laughs> when I started the public affair and I, I started noticing the people that are into it and people like messaging me and like people I don't fucking know, which is great, by the way. Um, yeah. They're just like, yeah, this is great. Like you're doing something that's different. We love this. Like yeah. this, I'm like, all right, let's stick with this then. So now I'm thinking podcasting is not, you know, cool. And I got sponsors and shit now. So it's kind of, yeah. you know, like everybody, everybody. <laughs> Everybody's like, I guess roads are different, like as far as what they're supposed to be doing. Do you think that right. being a realtor is what you were supposed to do? Or is there I something so. else that you would rather do? Or No, honestly, I feel like this is my career. This is okay. uh, my life career. So I just. And how long um, have you been doing it? I'm sorry. Seven years now. Seven years. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. Two years part time, five years full time. Damn. Yeah. It was a scary moment, you know, to take that leap of faith. But I'm, I'm again, just glad that yeah. I, I, I decided to give it a try. Isn't it always, though? Like, that's not a pleasant feeling, I'm sure. I know. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, but it ended up working really good. Uh, now, you've been with, uh, I've, I've fucked this up all the time. It's Alinea. Alinea. Alin- right. I, I was saying Alinea. I was saying Alisea. I was saying <laughs> Ali. Like, I don't know. So, you've been with Alinea Realty Group since the seven years? Like, all. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. so, um, how do you feel about, like, we talked about this to a, a few of the other realtors and I. Um, it seems like it's a competitive business. It definitely is. So how do you, how does David Santabana stay above the fray as far as, like, competition and stuff? Share what you want, please. So, yeah, there's there's definitely a lot of com- competition. I think there's over 800 agents registered here in McLennan County. Okay. So there's Ooh, sorry, that Patron shot burned. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Yeah, there's 800. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's definitely tough. I mean, there's a lot of great agents in town. Yeah. Um, and so I think it helps me being local and just... Uh, just, just being positive and just uh, working. I mean, that's what it yeah. takes, you know. Just, I, just a grind every day. Okay, so you don't have necessarily any issues with anybody. It's just, no, no, not yeah, at all. no, yeah. You know? I mean, I've had, uh, not the realtors that have been on this show per se, but I, I know a lot of people that do that, like sell homes and stuff. And because the the market is so competitive, you know, they're, right. they're like oh, I got beef with this realtor and I got beef with this realtor. So no, no, I, no. I, I just thought, well, well, David doesn't seem like he's got those issues because David doesn't seem like he got problems with anybody. You know what <laughs> I mean? You seem like you're pretty like you know calm, cool, calm, and collected guy, and you know you're just trying to be over here doing you and stuff like that. Yeah. So. I mean, eventually we'll we'll have to work with one another. So why, yeah. you know, create yeah. bad blood with somebody when you might have to work with them again? So yeah, I got you. Why don't you mm-hmm. walk me through the process real quick of what? Because I, I kick myself in the ass for not ever asking the other realtors this, but how? What is the process like of buying a home? Like, because you guys be selling some gorgeous ass houses. Yeah. <laughs> like, how do you sell a house like that but you don't live in one? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. what is the process of buying that home and then selling it and profiting profiting off of it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's the Patron. Go ahead. <laughs> so, I, I guess it just depends on um, on improvements and 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 um, and and the presentation. Okay. I mean, you definitely want to, uh, what I tell people is, is your first impression can be your last impression. Right. So if you have a dirty house, a stinky house, yeah. then guess what? They're going to come in and out and they're going <laughs> to forget about the homes. Yeah, so. exactly. Right. Yeah. Do, so. you, do you have to do a lot of that renovating yourself? No. Uh, okay. We, we can definitely make uh, some advice, give some recommendations. Right. Uh, but we don't personally do any type of renovations for the. Like you don't go in home. there and clean nobody's house and all that. Like, uh, well, like I, if you're selling. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, again, it just depends on every, every uh, transaction is different. Yeah. So, I mean, um, you know, some sellers, again, we, we'll give the recommendation. Uh, and if they need the help, then I can definitely find them for them. But yeah. Yeah. I mean, every now and then I get my hands dirty. It just yeah. depends on, on the case. Well, the situation. Just, just tell everybody to listen to the public affair because I have all these contractors that sponsor. <laughs> so they need a paint job. They need walls done. They need resurfacing. This right. is the public affair. And all the sponsors are on there. They can do it for you. I got the guy who welds. You know what I there mean? You go. Like, <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's your, what's your opinion about like the, the Magnolia thing? So, you know, like I talked to Roman about this on episode two and we're on 20. And so um, <laughs> uh, I talked to him about this a little bit and, it seems like they get a lot of backlash for unfortunately. Uh, yeah, well, you know what? Like for me personally, because like I talk to people about this, like oh, I just can't stand those t- Chip and Joanna because they um, they did whatever to wake up. I'm like, yo, they're just like winning. Like, what are you hating on? And you, you can't lie. Them cupcakes are mom is fine. Like, <laughs> I, I will stand in line for a fucking five dollar cupcake. That's just so. Have you had one? I have not. No. Oh my not. god, they're delicious. They yeah. have this freaking cupcake that's like a cornbread or whatever. It's fucking great. But um, no, like. Unfortunately, yes, they, they, they do get like a lot of backlash in the community and I never, I don't know those people personally. I've never met them, right. but like for me, I just never understood why people were like, Oh, like we can't stand them. Why? You know what I mean? So what, what's your take on all that? Well, uh, me personally, like you said, I, I, I don't know him personally, but uh-huh. I, I really think they do a, a lot of good things for the community. I mean, if it wasn't for them, I, I don't know if we'll have the attention that we have and yeah. all the attractions that we got yeah. coming in. I mean, we got a lot of development going on. Jennifer Lopez uh, was here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's my bitch. Why she comes to my house? You know what I mean? <laughs> right? She was here. She was at the Magnolia's. Yeah, the yeah. silos. Yeah. 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 So, no, I, 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 I don't. I don't see anything bad about them. No. They, they've done great things, and and they continue to to invest. That's the biggest thing. Yeah, 
they're investing to our community and we're giving uh tourists something to yeah to come and, and check out here in town well, and so. not that there's like a lot to check out in waco it's unless you know you want to come to the public affair but like <laughs> <laughs> but no like like to me like okay so i think a lot of people just expect the most from them right yeah. so like okay like when COVID started and I, i've told this story before like everybody's like yeah where's chip and joanna now like what do you want them to do and let me, the vaccine let me tell you something <laughs> real fucking quick if i was chip and joanna jane G- gains gains and um Y'all were talking all that shit about me, and this virus broke out. I would be in my mansion, right, minding my business, <laughs> not concocting a vaccine. Okay, and I would be like with my pool boy, my margarita. Like, oh, I guess that's their problem now. Like, nah, baby, they hate us. <laughs> Warm up the jacuzzi. We got a quarantine. You know what I mean? Right. Like, so, right. like, I didn't understand what people wanted them to do, and I get. You know, I, and I talked to again another person about this that. Like you just mentioned, they do a lot for the community, they but they're do. not they're not the type of people that like boast about it. Like, oh, look what we're doing. We're feeding right. the homeless or we're, you know, creating a vaccine for this. You know what I mean? Right, so, right. Like, I, I just think like, I mean, how do you feel about that? I mean, because you don't necessarily have to see anybody like, oh, this is what I'm doing right now. And everybody praise me. You know what I mean? Right, like, right. I mean, that's kind of like what you do, too. Yeah. It's not like you told everybody that you were having a free haircut event. And it's like everybody, you know, like my posts. Or this and that, you know what I mean? <laughs> so and you just don't seem like that type of guy. Yeah. No, I mean, like you said, they, they do a lot of charities. They do. I mean, they do give back to the community. I don't know what people expect from them. But <laughs> yeah. Well, what does anybody expect from any of us? Right. It's right. like nothing's ever fucking good enough. <laughs> it's like, Jesus, just leave me alone. You could find some business. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. So no, I'm really happy that you, you know, you're enjoying the the realty and all that oh yeah How, what's it. the appropriate term is realtoring realtor realtor okay realtor. so you're realtor yes sir realtor not realtor okay yeah. <laughs> like the word real realtor. yeah 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 <laughs> i got you man that's what's up mm-hmm. um so what is your what would be you know what okay so for me i've lived in an apartment right like my whole entire life yeah and so i don't like for me i don't want to buy anything that I have to like I'm not for cutting grass right yeah I, and I don't want to fix the AC and I don't want to you know oh my pipes are backed up I love right. calling my apartment complex and be like your AC stopped working <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> I mean? fix it. And then just, you know like my my view is this like when I if when or when unfortunately you know I got for bid pass um who am I gonna do <laughs> you know what I mean? uh, Hyman is my beneficiary. Come take my shit don't sell it just have it there put me in an urn whatever so what is your advice against um I guess renting versus buying. Like, like, what would you tell me if we were in a meeting right now? Well, obviously, the advantages of of, uh, of owning a home is is uh, tax benefits, and then the other uh, benefit of just doing what you want with your property. Yeah, you know, you can't go and paint your walls at your apartment. I would guess, or no, I don't want to either. That's what I'm saying. I would call out home painting <laughs> with one out home. <laughs> He's a local painting family company. <laughs> no, yeah, okay, so that. But for me, also, is more of of again, kind of what I mentioned earlier, just investing in your future. You know. Yeah. I mean, it's something that you can purchase now, and and the great thing about real estate, it appreciates with time. So, oh, okay. Um, you know, you can buy your house just theoretically, just saying, let's say a hundred thousand today, and okay. you know, I don't know, two three years from now, it could be a hundred and twenty thousand. So, right. I mean, it's something that could be on a long term uh, an investment that you could always, you know, sell and cash out or right. um, eventually own compared to a, to an apartment complex. So. I got you. And, and I will say, I'm not going to, I'm going to be honest here. I, it's crossed my mind to call you and be like, let's talk about buying a home because I mean, I'm 29 and uh, one of my friends actually just bought a home. It's really cute, but he lives in yeah. the North side. And I kind of live in the South side. Well, yeah. I want to live in Hewitt, which I don't think I can afford right now. <laughs> but you know like okay my parents live in the south waco area by university that's the south Wake robinson area whatever yeah, okay and so i was like okay this is like a cute little name i don't want to live by them but you know, like, <laughs> like i was like okay so what what is what is the process i guess of um like by, like do you look at work history or is it strictly based off your credit or like how does that work so uh, it's simple as uh, just give me a call. <laughs> I'll take care of the rest. You're supposed to be selling me a house on the public fair, David. <laughs> no, I okay. mean, uh, it, it definitely, you have to have a credit score. Uh, okay. f- for most lenders, they're going to require at least a 640. Um, oh, I got that. Yeah. Do well, you? my, my credit score is an 800. Oh, wow. Well, okay. excuse me. Okay, like 795, whatever. <laughs> give me my little round it off to the nearest fifth place. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's pretty hard. So high. credit score uh, is very important and also proof of income. Okay. Um, and then they're also going to calculate what they call your DTI, debt to income ratio. Um, but that's something that a lender can kind of walk you through and, yeah. and, and explain to you. So. so it sounds like I'm in a really good position to buy a house. Yeah. But okay, so and then I talked to somebody else too, and she used to give away loans, Ilda Sabito. And yeah. shout out to you know Ilda. Right? I know Ilda. Love yeah. her. She's gorgeous. And so um, she was talking <laughs> to me about the loans process and stuff like that. She goes, You could be paying what you're paying in rent to own a house. That's correct. And I was like, There's no fucking way because my, my rent's 525. 
Oh, okay. And, you know, <laughs> which I can, you know, obvious, it's just, that's just how much the rent is. Like, I don't, it's not a ghetto little cheapy apartment. It's in Hewitt. But, <laughs> okay, so I don't want anybody to think I live in the fucking hood or nothing. <laughs> and there's no roaches. But, um, <laughs> but like, like, what would you say the minimum for me who has, um, I mean, I have a 10 year steady, um, employment yeah employment yeah um i my credit score is obviously phenomenal like i said i wouldn't lie about that on the show and um <laughs> you know all the other things so like i guess it would just depend on how much the house is right yeah it okay. depends on the house and uh, we might talk about that yeah Andrew sure. G might be buying a house at davis and Devanya, there so, you go yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if everything links up and I, you know oh yeah like so if things break though like i mean how does that work like again i can call my apartment and be like your ac's broken come fix it right so when i'm like, do, how does like, is there like an insurance policy type thing? Or? So you could actually purchase what's called a home warranty. Okay. And, and a home warranty could cover most of your major components. Yeah. Uh, and it's very similar to what I described, like your aftermarket uh, uh, warranty that they offer you when you buy a used car. Yeah. Uh, you just pay a deductible, and if it's covered under the warranty, they'll take care of the material and labor. So, oh, okay. I got yeah. you. That's what's up. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, it sounds like it's an easy process. Maybe we'll talk about that one day. I've, I've been thinking about it because I like to have like little backyard barbecues and stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? I want to have my friends over and make cheeseburgers and hot dogs and watch the football game, <laughs> <laughs> which I won't watch. Yeah. So, so one thing I like to mention too is there's uh-huh. also a lot of programs out there available for uh, first time home buyers. Okay. Uh, I know a lot of people uh, assume that you have have to have a large down payment right uh, but there's also you know affordable programs that uh, could be very minimum or sometimes not even no down payment required oh so, really yeah there's also grant programs that can pay your down payment so right yeah. I just get nervous about like somebody robbing me like I live in an upstairs apartment which is like less likely for somebody to break through my window yeah you know what I mean and then my neighbor she's nosy rosy so I know what getting in there <laughs> <laughs> and, um, um, but I do like neighbors and you know I mean there's a lot of things like I would love like a two bedroom, one bathroom, like a small little bitty house. That's just mine. It's cute. You know, right. I, I have all these great sponsors that can fix everything. up. we can talk about negotiations and stuff like that. Right. So, I mean, I've thought about it. And I'm not going to lie. It's crossed my mind to call you because I've seen you doing your thing on social media. Awesome. I have. You've really been like winning out there when it comes to selling homes. And so has everybody else that I've had. Yeah. But uh, you I, I know that probably right now I can't afford. I think Hewitt Woodway area is like really high in taxes and it's stuff like that. It's a little pricey right now. It's a little pricey, but I was like, okay, South Waco, you know, this is a cute little, you know. I mean, I guess I'll go to that H E B, whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, I, I mean, I lived in North Waco for last year, but we, we talked about that already. Yeah. And so, um, hey, why don't we take another shot? Are you down? Yeah, let's take. One. All right, let's do it. Hey, I'm really appreciating the conversation so far, David. Um, what else can you leave us with realtoring? Like, um, I mean, like, how far do you want to go in that and stuff like that? Well, like, the other thing you, I was going to mention too is you could always start with a starter home you know um, oh, what's that uh well just you know starting like you mentioned maybe um purchasing a small home right now okay. maybe in the south waco area if we have to and yeah uh, eventually you know three four <laughs> I don't years mean to say it like that like it's a terrible <laughs> area it's beautiful <laughs> no to be honest i actually started uh with my first house in south waco okay uh and the neat thing about it you know i purchased it it was a fixer upper okay you know and 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 uh, thanks to my family and friends, we've uh, renovated the house completely. Oh, cool! And uh, honestly, it, it's something that again, it was an investment for me, and right. and, and I purchased my my second home two years ago. Oh! Uh, but the neat thing about it is, my plan is the first house I'm going to keep and rent. Okay. I'm gonna let that pay the mortgage off itself, and yeah. so you can rent it to me. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> well, how big is it? Uh, two bedroom, one bath. Hey, what you're what's for. up? Yeah. <laughs> we'll go take a look at it. You can rent it to go. me. Okay. We'll talk about prices. Um, because I had you on the YouTube. Anyway. Um, oh God, there was another. Question. Maybe if we take the shot, I remember what I was going to ask there you again. Go. Yeah. Cheers. Mm. Shout out to Isaac Carrillo, my trainer, Dominic Gutierrez. Ugh, sorry guys <laughs> wow i haven't drank in a while sorry so it's yeah. like now it's hitting me anyways so um david what about some other endeavors that you're in like why don't you talk to us a little bit about who you are personally like obviously you're just not this this stiff that just sells homes all day like what do you like to do and like stuff like that do you and the wife go out a lot or like tell us about your hobbies and such yeah so uh um, how'd you meet your wife how about that so i've known my wife since uh middle school i've known her for a long time jesus christ this town is small <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, we, we've been friends for a lot of years, and okay. uh, she, we got together our senior year in high school. So right. it's my high school sweetheart. Oh, okay. And uh, we've been together now for uh, 14 years. Oh, wow, really? Uh, got kids? Three beautiful kids. Three beautiful yeah, kids. Two girls, okay. one boy. And um, yeah, I mean, um, we typically just, uh, we got a lot of family and friends in town, so we're always invited to birthday parties and Quinceañeras and yeah. baby showers and oh, weddings so you and you guys, name it. So, yes, yeah, we're are, always busy. You guys are busy bodies. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so if yeah. we're not working, we're out. 
partying. Yeah. Okay, that's like, well, how come mm-hmm. I haven't been invited to this party? That's like, <laughs> You'll get they, the invite. They saw me drunk that one time. Okay, whatever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got, I've actually been um, not invited to a lot of parties these days for you know personal reasons, whatever. But anyway, I'll come to your parties, make them fun. We can talk about the podcast. Right. Um, you know what? And I just, where, where do you guys live? So you said you used to live in South Waco. Do you not live there we anymore? Did. No, no. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we moved. Uh, we're, we're still in Waco. We're locally centrally, but. Yeah, just got to buy a bigger house. I mean, yeah. three kids in a two bedroom. Three, yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm barely enough for my one bedroom here. Okay. Yeah. How about some hobbies that you're into? So I mean, like, um, we're going to South Waco. Did you get in a lot of fights? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> everybody like everybody talks about the fights that they get into. University is like the fighting school. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which I mean, I love university. I've, but. I've, I've, I've I've had my fair rounds, you know, as a, as a teenager. <laughs> so you have. Okay. <laughs> I never got into fights. That was never my thing. Like yeah. I always ran my mouth, but I always tell everybody, like I can, I will get my ass whooped if you want to take it there. You're gonna win. I do. I said I'm being honest. I think it's good to be honest about things like that, right? Yeah. Because it's like I'm not gonna sit here and act like I can buck up to you and win and then <laughs> get my ass dragged. <laughs> you know what I mean? How embarrassing! I'd rather take the L and say I told you so, <laughs> you know, with my bloody lip and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's great that you and your wife have been together for 14 years. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um. What else, What am I leaving out here, David? What else can we get to know about you? Um. Well. Uh. For me, again, it's just, uh, I don't know, I guess working family, really. Yeah. Um, I go to church also uh, locally, to Mighty Wind Worship Center. Yeah. Oh, I've been to that church one time. Have you? It's a great church. Yeah. (laughs) It is. No, I'm sorry. That was an awkward pause. (laughs) Okay. I'm going to tell you, I went there. I'm not really, I don't go to church a lot. Like, honestly, and I'm the hypocrite that only goes to church right before I fly. But me and God are tight, like, in different ways. You know what I mean? Like, he's cool. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. He gets me. And so, (laughs) um, but no, okay, so do you know, we know, Ilda, you know Hector? I do, I do. Okay, so he was a pastor there, I believe. He was. Or a preacher, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And he invited me to a service, and I just went because I had nothing else to do. And so, (laughs) I think it was a Sunday or Wednesday night, one of the two. And it's cool with that church because um, I don't think they're involved with that church anymore. But when they were, there were different types of people there. There is. You know what I mean? Like, they were all just the like whatever like off of work or just rolled out of bed and came to church because you know i think a lot of people when they think oh you're gonna go to church you have to dress nice and you know whatever and i just like it touched not touched me it hit me differently because i have never been to where i'm praising god so much i started crying yeah do you know what i mean and so we're singing uh, no i just never and so (laughs) like they're singing this song about jesus and how much they love him and then there's a woman behind me like in tears yeah and i'm like am i missing something here you know that's just me (laughs) and i talked to him about he goes no man you know how he talks he's like no no man it just hits everybody differently and i was just like yeah i need to like be on her level because she is like really a hot ass mess right now <laughs> and we're singing about live, loving jesus you know what i mean so yeah uh, i think that's a, um that's great that you guys are a part of that church yeah. uh, so are you guys in every sunday type thing uh we definitely try it's yeah. not easy no, trying to sure. get three kids up in the morning and okay. get them dressed and, and they them probably up. don't want to go to be honest <laughs> <laughs> i mean like my, i didn't want to go like when i was a kid so we didn't yeah. go you know yeah i was you know i went to church for a little bit though like i did like in high school i went to this church um it's not open anymore it's called mount zion united methodist oh, okay and yeah. it was cool because it was like um it was an African American church. Oh, okay. And so and they're fun to go to church with. I loved it. You know what I mean? I did. If you've never been to a black church, like primarily black church, yeah. you should totally go. And it's yeah. so awesome. I was like, this is great. Because they're they're real into it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Singing, then they, they remix the song and shit like that. Like, you know what I mean? And all, all you need is the beep, beep, beep. Like, but it's really it was really cool. And shout out to my pastor who I actually still keep in touch with, Denise Blakely. Okay. Uh, she was the I always forget like the words to you the pastor i believe and so um she was a great pastor and that was a fun church to go to good good but good. yeah I, you know don't invite me to church okay <laughs> <laughs> but you, you watch football i do I okay do. so who's your team dallas cowboys okay they're not doing too well unfortunately well you know i don't watch football at all but oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but but if you ever invite me to one of your football parties i'll bring the hot dogs let me bring the hot dogs okay no Got seriously it. because i don't buy the cheapy hot dogs i've heard <laughs> yeah. from who? oh from said podcast no the podcast, oh, the podcast. <laughs> okay. no i cannot stay. listen shout out to my co-worker she um she put me on to all beef hot dogs because you know yeah. we used to go get the 99 cents ones or whatever as soon as she said no spend the extra money to get the ballpark 100 percent all beef that's all i fuck with now <laughs> don't make me go to your house and we're having pork and chicken hot dogs and i told sid for the next event that we had i will purchase the hot dogs awesome <laughs> I, I did i told him and he was like no nah, man it's too expensive let me purchase the hot dogs <laughs> my, my sponsors will help me if i call them they're, they're there for me because they're great they're loyal you know Good. what i mean we got yeah. you we got yeah. you down so um Andrew I, for hot dogs next year. <laughs> cheers to that. <laughs> I, I'm sorry that the beer is warm. It's been in my car no, for an hour. <laughs> David, what's next for you? What else? What else are we missing here? Um. Well, 
I um, I don't know. For for me, it's more just growing into my business. So okay. I'm probably going to be investing more in myself personally into some more real estate. I want to accumulate some rental properties. So okay. that's uh, my next go. And um, for me, I mean, I, I'm always trying to grow and, and, and giving back to the community. So there'll be a lot more events coming for me. So. Right. Um, hopefully COVID can get away from us. That's so. what I'm saying. Um, do you think like that's having a big effect? Like how did that, it is. how did that um, affect your, I guess, home, like work and stuff like that? Uh, well, it definitely um, changed the industry. Okay. Uh, lending got really tight because people were losing their jobs and some people didn't know if they'll have a job the next day. So yeah. it, uh, it definitely got a little tighter on, on the, on the requirements, but um, I think we're, we'll, we'll be all right. We're just, it's a season we got to get through. So. Yeah, I got you. Well, yeah. hopefully it goes away soon too. Cause I miss like not wearing a mask places. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, nobody's giving me shit for us not wearing masks on my podcast, but you know, I'm <laughs> <laughs> um, Oh God. Um, yeah, David. Well, I mean, man, I really appreciate you coming by. I think we had a really good, how did you feel about coming on the public affair? Uh, it was fun. Were you scared? I was. A lot of people get scared because they say, I was very nice though, right? You are. And the only reason why I haven't made any inappropriate jokes to you is because I just know Alicia will beat me up. Alicia. Felicia. Felicia. <laughs> Sorry, it was the Patron Felicia. The see, she's going to fuck me up now. You know what I mean? So, Felicia. I knew that was your name. And so, you know, I was like, nah, she looks like she's a rough tumbler. I don't know about that. You know She'll rough I mean? you up. Yeah. Um, hey, you know, you know what? We have a lot of alcohol here. I never saw you as a drinker. Yeah. Um, what is your favorite drink? Uh, typically beer, okay. uh, liquor. I don't, I don't do too much. Actually, this was given to me as a birthday present. I really love how that uh, was just in month. your, that was just in your car. Oh no, no. I brought it over. <laughs> oh, you brought it. Oh, okay. I was like, he's like, I just got bottle of Patron in my car. I was like, I guess <laughs> you bring it on. I thought yeah. you just keep it in the car. And like when you're having a bad day, just, Oh no, no, no. <laughs> you know what I mean? You ever do that now? Uh, no, I, I do. Oh, I we do. Should, should we keep that between us? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> real, right, right estate, real estate can be very stressful for sure. Really? So, yeah. What would you say the most stressful part about it is? Uh, just the process sometimes or just uh, sometimes people, unfortunately. You know, it's customer service, so you just never know who you're God, working with. So Don't you hate that? <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, and everybody tells me how great I'd be at, like, customer service. And I really, like... I love meeting people, like yeah, especially when, like I've had people come up to me like at HEB and stuff and say, "Oh, you're the guy with the public affair," and like that's cool. Like I'll take a picture with you, handshake, thank you for watching. But like, like just like putting on the smile and shit like that, like to have to get through something that has to do with work. I'm just like, all right, let's do this. And everybody's like, "You'd be perfect <laughs> at that." I was like, "I don't want to do that." You know what I mean? <laughs> so I was like, "Fuck that." You know? Yeah. But, but you know, we're all grateful and stuff like that. Yeah. No, I enjoy my job. It's just it definitely okay. got its challenges for sure. Definitely. But. I yeah. feel you, man. Okay. Well, um, David, I, I really want to thank you so much for coming on to the public affair. I think we had a really You're good welcome. conversation. I'm, I'm glad to, um, you know, you didn't want to talk about any of the fights that you got in middle school, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, you know what? Let me, let me, before we go real quick, um, would you say that your life, like, were you a different person maybe growing up than you are now? Like, definitely. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. so were you a rough tumbler growing up? So, I mean, growing up in South Waco, I think we were kind of, uh, stuck in that, in that environment, okay. you know, um, I had a great childhood with my parents for sure, but um, you know, we, we I, I didn't explore the world as yeah. or knew about the opportunities uh, until I became an agent. So okay. I I feel like now that that's the reason I, I like to give back because I want to let you know kids know and the people know that there's a, a bigger world out there and, right. and there's definitely more opportunities than just you know yeah living in a small small town like South Waco. So. No, I, and I got you. And you know, I would love to be able to reach out to children and stuff, but this show is not for kids. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which, in two episodes ago, all these kids were coming up to me telling me much. I was like, "You're twelve. <laughs> you, know I mean? you shouldn't do that." Yeah. But whatever, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> <laughs> David, thank you so much for coming on to the public. Uh, thank you I for really appreciate me. you. I hope you enjoyed your time. I did. You did. Sure okay. Did. Maybe you can come back next time. Maybe we can talk about buying a home. What's up? Yeah. And then I'll have a big pool party, and all the listeners are invited. <laughs> but you have to sell me a backyard big enough, okay? We'll do it. <laughs> well, David, before we go, I definitely want to give a shout-out to a few more of our sponsors of The Public Affair. I want to give a shout-out to my boy, Sid Rodriguez, with Elite Barbershop. Um, he's located on Hewitt Drive, and he's got really talented barbers there, Marcus Guerrero, Chris Reyes, and Santos Cordova. And actually, Chris Reyes also does um, nose waxings, and I got one done today, and my nose feels all cute and whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you call them on the number on the screen to book or download the Cut app, and make sure you book an appointment with Sid Rodriguez, Marcus Guerrero, Chris Reyes, 
Sanchez or Santos Cordova. Thank you guys for sponsoring the public affair. Also, to my people at Fat Boy Michelada and Botana and Sonanos Carnita. Have you, have, have you tried them yet? I have not. They're in South Waco. You got to try okay. them. They're freaking amazing, <laughs> man. Uh, shout out to my boy Junior Banda and Miguel Serrano. They work together to bring you the best Micheladas, Botana, and Carne Seca that you'll ever have. Um, they're locally operated. Again, he lives in South Waco. Uh, so you can call them for parties, get togethers, or more. Make sure you get the best and not the rest, darling. I also want to give a shout out to Dominic and Ariana Gutierrez with Soco Soccer Academy. They're located here on Franklin Drive. They offer team, small group, and individual skill training and occasional open play on the weekends. They also specialize in soccer training with professionals like George DeLeon. They also have fitness training with Dominic and Isaac Carrillo and more. And I just want to say, as of the recording of this podcast, I'm down 25 pounds now. No, it was that. <laughs> Make sure you guys call the number on the screen for all the details of Soco Soccer Academy. Thank you guys for sponsoring. And to one of my new sponsors, Miss Angie Reyes with Beauty by Angie Reyes. Uh, she's located at Dollhouse Aesthetics and Beauty Lounge on Lake Air. She specializes in lash extensions, henna brows, and facial waxing, as well as all women cuts, color, and highlights, and balage. Make sure you hit up Angie Reyes, all my ladies, for all that needs. What's up? All right. Um, thank you again for coming on to the public oh, affair. You. I really appreciate it. Um, everybody. Thank you all again for tuning in. Um, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel at The Public Affair. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at The Public Affair. Thank you all again so much for your support to all my sponsors as well who made this episode possible. And don't forget everybody who's tuned in to keep it between us, darling. Are you a podcaster? Let's talk podcast hosting. Are you tired of your current podcast host? Need real support in a community that gets it? At Rogue Media Network, we offer top-tier podcast hosting services to help you thrive. From hosting and distribution to dedicated support, we've got you covered. Starting as low as $25 a month. Join our community of passionate podcasters today. Contact us at hello at roguemedianetwork.com.